All right, New Year's Eve is known for the Waterford Crystal Ball Drop in New York City. In Bemidji, a newer tradition has taken shape. In this week's uh, Community Spotlight, we attended the Bemidji JCs Kids New Year's Eve Bash. For one night, kids get to run the show. For three years, the Bemidji JCs have made the gym bin in Bemidji party central, but not for adults, for kids. Their annual New Year's Eve bash provides fun for the entire family, something the JCs feel is important to offer to the community. I think they're the most important family events. They're the most important events that we do because we like to involve the whole family. The annual New Year's Eve bash for kids brings in over 115 kids at the ultimate indoor playground for their own private New Year's Eve party. For this year's bash, the Bemidji JCs recruited some new help. The Bemidji Junior JCs is an offshoot of the adult JC program and is shadowing the project in hopes that they can someday offer more projects similar to this one throughout the year. This is the type of project that the Junior JCs would like to run in the future, so we are working with the adult JCs to shadow them so we can run our own. For the Junior JCs, learning to run a project like this is not only educational, but it's also fun. The feeling that you have, I enjoy the feeling that you have when you know that you've done something good for not yourself, but the community. While running projects teaches many skills, already the Junior JCs are learning the importance of making a difference in their community. The fun and games. Fun and games? All right. And also helping out the, in the, uh, helping out the community. A good thing to do in that you can help so many people by just coming for one thing and your help is needed anywhere you go. With families sharing the fun and excitement of the pending new year, the finale came towards the end of the evening with one giant balloon drop. With this week's Community Spotlight, in Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.